Hi and greets all of you. Ladies and gentlemen. Dear viewers, in 2017, a strange object flew through our solar system at an incredible speed. But the problem was, scientists didn't detect it at all. It wasn't until 40 days after it made its closest approach to the sun that people were shocked to discover its presence. Yes, I'm talking about Oumuamua. The strangest and most controversial object to have ever visited our solar system. At first, people thought it was just a normal asteroid or comet. But computer data revealed that this strange object was completely different from anything we had ever seen before. With its unusually elongated shape, like a spaceship, and its incredibly fast speed, a Muamua stood out in every way. At that point, scientists began to feel confused, unsure of what kind of object we were dealing with and where it came from. Some bold theories even suggested that Oumuamua might be an alien spacecraft. So, what exactly is Oumuamua? After many years of research, what do we really know about this mysterious visitor? Yes, I'm Haiyan, and welcome to today's video. A place where we will explore all the fascinating stories related to Oumuamua and the Bold Lyra project. Now, let's begin our journey of discovery. Oumuamua is the first known interstellar object to visit our solar system. That means it originated from outside the solar system and is not bound by the gravitational pull of our sun. A starting point that sparks endless curiosity and the desire to explore. But before this fascinating truth was known, scientists had made several mistakes. From detecting it far too late to misidentifying its true nature. Oumuamua was first discovered on October 19, 2017. By astronomers at an observatory in Hawaii, while it was already on its way out of the solar system. In fact, it had made its closest approach to the Sun on September 9, 2017. However, likely due to its small size and dim brightness. Oumuamua easily slipped past the watchful eyes of telescopes and entered the solar system undetected. It wasn't until 40 days later, as it was moving away from the Sun, that scientists finally noticed a tiny bright dot traveling at an incredible speed across the display screen. After it was discovered, Oumuamua didn't give observers much time to collect data. By the end of October 2017, it had already faded significantly. And by December of the same year, even the largest ground-based telescopes could no longer find it in the sky. The short observation window, combined with the object's small size, dim brightness, and extremely fast movement, made identification and analysis very challenging. Oumuamua became a special case, one of the most confusing and puzzling objects astronomers had ever encountered. People didn't know how to classify it properly, because it truly didn't resemble anything seen before. At first, the strange object was identified as a comet. Because of its accelerating movement as it moved away from the sun, behavior very similar to that of a comet. It was named Comet C-2017-U1. But later observations did not detect the dusty tail typically seen on comets. So it was reclassified as an asteroid and given the name A-2017-U1. However, this theory also fell short, because the object had an unusual shape. Elongated at both ends and unusually flat. This kind of structure had never been seen in any asteroid within our solar system. On top of that, it was moving at an incredible speed. Around 315,000 km per hour. Far too fast to be in orbit around the Sun. Once again, this raised serious questions about its true nature. An object moving at such a high speed would follow a trajectory that takes it out of our solar system. And that means it must have come from another star. A new type of object we had never known before. An interstellar object. At that point, the International Astronomical Union IAU, had to choose a new name for this strange object. Eventually, they decided to use the letter I to represent an interstellar object. Its official name became 1I-2017U1. And people began calling it by a more familiar name, Oumuamua, which in Hawaiian means, the first distant messenger. Oumuamua is the first interstellar object ever known to visit our solar system. Later, in 2019, a second interstellar object entered our solar system, Comet 2I slash Borisov. Because Oumuamua was the first interstellar object to visit the solar system, astronomers were extremely excited and eager to study it. 
They wanted to understand the similarities and differences between it and the objects found within our solar system. Based on the limited data collected during the brief time Oumuamua passed through the solar system, scientists quickly noticed several key differences. First is the size. Oumuamua is estimated to be about 400 meters long and roughly 35 meters wide. That means its length is about 10 times its width, which is unusually long. Up until now, the longest objects in our solar system have never had a length more than three times their width. But Oumuamua's length-to-width ratio of 10 to 1 suggests that it was formed by a unique process. Very different from the objects in our local solar neighborhood. As for its shape, it has often been described as looking like a cigar, or possibly flat like a pancake, with a slightly reddish color. Oumuamua doesn't rotate around a single axis like most objects, it tumbles through space in a chaotic spin. No one knows exactly why it spins this way. But it's possible that Oumuamua was knocked off balance by a collision in its original star system. And it has continued tumbling ever since. Because the time it takes for such motion to naturally stop is extremely long, at least a billion years. To this day, the true nature of Oumuamua remains a mystery. However, scientists have noticed that Oumuamua's brightness changes by a factor of 10 every 7 hours. Of course, no known asteroid or comet in our solar system exhibits such significant variations in brightness. This could be explained by the possibility that Oumuamua's surface is made of metal-rich rock. Hitch has turned reddish due to exposure to cosmic rays over millions of years of traveling through space. This would make it completely barren, with no dust or water ice on its surface. But what has astonished scientists, and remains the most difficult puzzle to explain about Oumuamua, is its speed as it accelerated away from the Sun. Normally, when an object like an asteroid or comet approaches the Sun, it speeds up due to the Sun's immense gravitational pull. After passing its closest point to the Sun, called perihelion, it begins to slow down as it moves away. But with Oumuamua, something strange happened that defied the laws of physics. Instead of slowing down as expected, it slightly accelerated as it moved away from the Sun. Specifically, Oumuamua's initial speed when entering the solar system was around 87.3 km per second relative to the Sun. As it passed its closest point to the Sun, it accelerated as usual. However, afterward, instead of slowing down, it continued to accelerate by 17 meters per second. Though this may seem like a small number, it was enough to cause a stir in the scientific community. This behavior contradicted Newton's law of universal gravitation. According to this law, any object with mass attracts others with a force that is proportional to their mass and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them. In the solar system, every planet, comet, asteroid, and so on follows this rule. As an object gets closer to the sun, it speeds up, as it moves away, it slows down. Unless some other force acts on it. But with Oumuamua, a massless object, with no engine, no thrust, and no evaporation creating propulsion. What could have caused it to accelerate in this way? For many years, scientists have been trying to find an explanation for this strange acceleration. It seems that a solar wind isn't the cause. While it's true that particles ejected from the sun can create solar winds, which can push objects in space. The force exerted by solar winds is very weak, insufficient to accelerate Oumuamua. If Oumuamua were a comet, we could explain the acceleration when it moved away from the sun as being caused by the evaporation of internal ice, generating a thrust similar to that of a mini-rocket. But Oumuamua is not a comet, it has no tail, no signs of evaporation. So, what made it speed up? What strange phenomenon is happening here? In 2018, a bold and somewhat shocking idea began to emerge. Professor Avi Loeb, chair of the Department of Astronomy at Harvard University, put forward a theory that sent shockwaves through the scientific community. He suggested that Oumuamua might be a probe sent by an extraterrestrial civilization. In a 2018 scientific paper, Professor Loeb argued that the strange characteristics of Oumuamua, such as its flat shape, high reflectivity, and especially its self-acceleration without any exhaust, could not be explained by natural objects. Instead, he proposed that Oumuamua might be a light sail. A technology created by an alien civilization. Allowing spacecraft to move using the pressure of radiation from stars, without the need for engines or fuel. 
The hypothesis that Oumuamua is a spacecraft from extraterrestrials is a bold idea. And unsurprisingly, it sparked a heated debate. On one side, critics argue that Professor Loeb is exaggerating the situation. Using the image of aliens to attract media attention. On the other side, though not entirely agreeing with the theory. Some still acknowledge that Oumuamua is a mystery worth serious study, and that proposing non-traditional hypotheses is necessary in science. While scientific observations have not provided a clear explanation, the idea that Oumuamua could be an alien spacecraft still lingers and continues to intrigue us in our minds. In recent years, several research groups have continued to seek explanations for Oumuamua's strange movement without resorting to extraterrestrial hypotheses. A 2023 study backed by NASA suggests that Oumuamua might have released atomic hydrogen from within as it approached the Sun. Hydrogen is very difficult to detect, but it could generate a small force sufficient to explain the acceleration without leaving any obvious traces. According to this theory, Oumuamua was formed as a comet. Essentially, it is a space rock mixed with dust and water ice. Somehow, it was ejected from its original star system, traveling through interstellar space, and accidentally entered the solar system. As it passed through the inner solar system, Oumuamua was heated up, causing frozen water to convert into hydrogen gas, giving it a slight acceleration on its way out of the solar system. This model seems to fit the observed data and has been supported by many scientists as a natural explanation for this mysterious phenomenon. However, Professor Avi Loeb and his supporters remain unconvinced. They argue that the hydrogen gas hypothesis relies on too many unverified assumptions and that we are trying to fit the data into familiar models. Rather than accepting that we might be dealing with something entirely new, while the mysteries remain unsolved, any additional clues are valuable. The orbit is one such clue. When astronomers traced the object's orbit, they discovered that Oumuamua entered the solar system from the direction of the Lyra constellation, very close to the position of the star Vega, which is about 25 light years away. However, there's an interesting detail, Vega wasn't in that position 25 years ago. If Oumuamua truly originated from that region, it must have started its journey hundreds of thousands of years ago. This suggests that Oumuamua wasn't launched from Vega but rather just happened to come from that direction. A mere coincidence in the vastness of the universe. After passing closest to the Sun in September 2017, Oumuamua continued to travel at a speed of up to 315,000 km per hour, leaving the solar system forever. It is now heading toward a vast, empty region between stars. Where calculations show it will not encounter any other star systems for millions of years to come. This proves that Oumuamua is a true interstellar object. Unbound by the Sun's gravity, not returning, and not part of our solar system. It simply passed through, like a stranger, accidentally opening the door to the mysteries of the universe before disappearing into the darkness leaving behind questions that continue to puzzle the scientific community. Currently, Oumuamua has left the solar system at breakneck speed. But it is not completely out of reach, at least theoretically. An international group of scientists has proposed a bold idea, named the Lyra Project. A space mission aimed at chasing down and catching up with Oumuamua. Even if it has already traveled billions of kilometers away from Earth. The Lyra Project outlines several feasible technical scenarios. They calculate that if launched before 2030, and utilizing advanced technologies like multiple gravity assists around planets, combined with ion engines or light sail systems, a spacecraft could potentially catch up with Oumuamua in the coming decades, conducting flybys or even sending a landing probe to its surface. Although this is still a proposal on paper, it shows the serious level of interest that the scientific community has in this mysterious object. If the Lyra project is launched and succeeds, it would be the first time humanity directly approaches an object from outside the solar system. While the theory holds great potential, the Lyra project also faces enormous technical challenges. First and foremost is the speed issue. In order to catch up with Oumuamua, the spacecraft must reach speeds of at least 60 to 70 km s faster than any mission ever launched by humans before. This requires a breakthrough in propulsion technology. 
such as nuclear thermal engines, light sails powered by lasers from Earth, or even gravity assists around the Sun. Furthermore, as Oumuamua moves farther away from the Sun, maintaining communication and supplying energy to the spacecraft becomes more difficult. Power, navigation, and communication systems must be designed to function reliably in deep space, billions of kilometers away from us. However, if this mission is successful, it will mark a historic turning point. For the first time, humans would approach an object from another world, not belonging to the solar system. We could collect interstellar material samples, billions of years old, from a completely unfamiliar part of the universe. And, most importantly, if there are any signs of artificial structures, unusual designs, or non-natural compounds. It could be the first evidence of extraterrestrial life. Oumuamua has left the solar system. It drifts in the endless darkness, leaving no sound, no message. Only a brief streak in telescopes and in the minds of humanity. The appearance of an uninvited object like Oumuamua reminds us that the universe is still full of mysteries yet to be unraveled. We may never encounter Oumuamua again, but surely, many more interstellar objects will visit us. Astronomers estimate that an object like Oumuamua passes through the solar system approximately once every year. But they are often very faint and difficult to detect, and until now, most have been missed. And who knows, next time, we may discover, reach out, and understand the story they bring from the stars. Thank you for watching the entire video. Don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications so you don't miss any exciting videos. Goodbye, and see you on the next journey. Best regards and take care.